recover any stolen item within seven days how to recover any stolen item using bread how to find your stolen item without much stress using natural ingredients natural items created by god you know in the last time when i was actually making a video on how you can attract love money contract connection using loaf of bread i was able to also explain to you that beyond attracting love money contract and other things using loaf of bread that there are many other things that you can actually do with bread because bread have high vibration frequency as it is one of the items that jesus used to feed 5,000 as well as 4,000 men in the wilderness and i told you that every, anything that is documented in the scripture always high vibration frequency in the universe that you can actually use it to manifest many things so by god's grace in today's video i will teach you how you can actually use a loaf of bread to be able to recover any of your stolen item giving some preconditions so if only you can follow me to the end of this video you'll be able to discover this amazing secret and you go out there recovering your items that has been stolen so welcome once again to jenny action tv in this particular channel i'll discuss three important variables which are actually health safety and spirituality believe me if you can understand and apply this three correctly in your life the sky will not be your limit it becomes your starting point if this is the very first time you're landing in this channel you are highly welcome please do well to hit the red subscribe button and the bell notification so that youtube will always notify you once i upload a new video for my returning subscribers thank you so much i am grateful i appreciate you for everything you are doing may god honor you and surprise you for my new time i just go through the channel any video you might be looking for type jenny action tv slash the keyword in that video say cleansing you'll be able to get some videos i've made on that topic you pick one watch and get some value as you did the spiritual work you see your life transformed so without actually wasting your time let's delve into the video like i say that it requires some precondition one condition that will make it possible for you to recover that your student item using a loaf of bread any loaf of bread whether big small irrespective of the bread so long as it's bread you are bound to recover that item but one condition it has not passed seven days the said item lost if it has passed seven days you will not be able to use the rule for bread again to recover it that is number one number two condition is that make sure that that particular item you did not throw it away by carelessness but that somebody deliberately stole it because sometimes out of carelessness because maybe you feel that there is a, a way you can easily yeah, it's a way you can easily recover your stolen item you start being careless but remember that nature is balanced you cannot be careless over your item and it lost probably you know that uh, you went to a kind of um, a party where you know that there are mixed multitude anything can happen you carelessly drop your phone if it lost it is called handset you're supposed to carry it wherever you are going you drop it on your table and say you want to get it yourself if it lost that one might not be recovered so make sure that that item was stolen not that you threw it away out of your carelessness so if these two conditions is established then you can easily recover it so what are the items that you need number one is actually roof of bread any type of bread any size any a kind of bread so long as it's bread that human being eats you get a loaf of bread like this the second item is actually salt then the third item you need is actually sand you get sand so and then the fourth item is not here you have to go and look for people that sells pig and get the intestine of pig intestine of pig so that is the fourth item that is needed then the next thing you will be needing is kind of charcoal or a kind of um, firewood that you are going to use to make fire because you are actually going to root some of these things as he's burning, he's burning the person that stole the item. Now, how do you do it? Let's assume that you went somewhere and you packed your car. Like we have had some evil stories of people who packed their car when they came for wedding, come to even church and some other activities. And when they now come out to 
carry that car. The car is nowhere to be found. Lest I forget, you also need broom. Broom. So the car is nowhere to be found. Or that you a kind of carefully left with your handset to somewhere and somebody did a kind of pickpocket and that particular handset got missing. You are sure at the point where that you started looking for it or you packed your motorcycle and suddenly the motorcycle somebody come and then carried it maybe you went to market or any other item maybe right in your house self you kept your handset and then somebody maybe some people come in or a visit or anything happened and that your handset disappeared or even in your shop some armed robbers come and pack some of your goods Anyhow that you have lost this item, so long as it's not clearless, it has not passed seven days, two days. First of all, go and get broom. Like when I was teaching you how to review the fusher um, using a kind of broom, I told you that any problem that you are uh, kind of passing through is also living with you. Anybody that has passed within some vicinity, the image of that person is splintered in that place. That's why if somebody comes to the environment and picks stone, the person can use it to monitor you, the person can use it to vook you, the person can use it to find out more about you. So when you get the broom, go to that vicinity where the car was stood in or that item was stood in and sweep and get no matter the little quantity of sand you are going to get or big quantity of sand, but make sure you sweep that place and get sand. So when you have gotten that sand, then go to people that sells pig and get the intestine of pig because it's just most of the times it's a waste and then even if it is not a waste it's just a little a kind of money you pay and buy it and then you get loaf, loaf of bread and then get salt keep normal kitchen salt this one is normal kitchen salt the salt everybody eats then we have gotten this item then make five with charcoal or a little bit of firewood. I didn't say gas or stove. I didn't say any sort of light. You need fire, uh, open fire with charcoal or with firewood. And it has to be on the open space of the universe. That is where you'll be seeing the sky. You, you are on the land, not inside your house, hidden. It, it will not be a hidden because even every element of creation will cooperate together to bring a kind of your lost item back so when you have set that fire you pray and say oh god the creator of the universe you will like report that case to god and open space of the universe that so 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 day or yesterday let's say for instance i went to so 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 market and then i packed my car and i'm coming out to take that car lo and behold it's missing oh god my heavenly father that today i need you to use these items of nature as a point of contact to help me recover this item because you say you revealed the end before the beginning you know the person who is in position of that car god wherever that person as i start this process may that car be recovered in if you're a christian you add in jesus name if you are not a christian you just pray the way you pray you can may the universe grant my request in jesus name then you make you set fire so when you set fire you pray and say god so long as this person who stole this car have ever eaten salt even if you have stopped eating salt but they have ever eaten salt so long as the footprint of that person is among this particular sand i gathered so long as this person have ever eaten food spiritually bread represent food that so long as this person have ever eaten food or eaten anything roasted in fire like bread, eaten anything mixed in water, remember that I told you that bread contains all the four elements of creation, the air, the fire, the a kind of a water and the earth element. And so long as this person have eaten any food at all, because almost the most food comes from earth element, father trouble this person, the person will not have peace until he has recovered, returned my item and then that you now put and say this big fat you or you bring it out and represent the intestine of this person that this person will begin to experience fire in and out of his body he will not have peace until he has re re returned or she have returned my item you call the specific item that was stood if it is food you call if it is some goods in your shop that was packed you call if it is a kind of your a kind of car you call it if it is motorcycle you call that specific item then that fire you have made you know that you not put sand directly inside fire it will quench or sort you begin to you know as the fire is coming and you begin to put 
this item it's a, a kind of round of the fire you are pouring salt you are talking that if this person let him recover you put that a kind of a that particular big fat like it's roasting gradually and then you begin to put sun then you are now a kind of a, a cutting that bread the way you normally eat bread and be putting it on the fire then as you are doing this what will happen is that wherever that person is, the person will not have it. Will be as if something is born in that person. The next thing you see that the person's stomach will start swelling, swelling as if that person have a kind of a liver problem and certain problem. This person will not have peace. All his body will be burning. That and the worst is that the person will not understand what is happening. Actually, the person will be rushed to the hospital. The hospital cannot give explanation of what is happening, and then they may now start to look for a man of God or to look for a kind of spiritualist and from there it will now be exposed to the person that you stole so 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 I can go and return it if you don't return it that there is no no how you will be cured and again not just that another thing will also happen is that if that person have active guardian angel the person will start seeing revelation of what is happening to him that this thing he will start even hearing voices that it's, this item is you stole is actually the cause of your problem and then that person has no choice even if he didn't know who is the owner of that car he will deliberately go back and pack that car back and then if he's something he knows exactly who is the owner he will come back to conquer to confess and as soon as that person pack it because when you do it you have to go go and be shaking even if it's night they used to come and pack your good you see that by next morning when you come after doing that maybe the next day maybe after two or three days you see that they come and dump that goose in front of your shop because once that person has returned those things those if they, they they start treating that person like it's only maybe a spiritualist or even a native man who i would treat that person his body will start receiving treatment but failure to return it there is no treatment that they will give to that person that will make that person to recover so this is a simple way you can actually recover your student item if you have lost that item within seven days by God's grace, you will surely recover. So go out there and begin to recover your student items. So with this, I've actually come to the end of today's video, believing that somebody has actually found value. If you are the one, why not give me that thumbs up? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not done so. Hit the bell notification so as to get my next upload. Please and please share this video to everyone. You might surely be helping others. As you do this, may God bless you and also comment on this video. Stay your lady, Jenny, saying bye-bye.